How's everybody doing? Good to see you again. I didn't think it was this grown in up here. I kind of forgot what it looked like, but it's cool. It's nice. This is all as far we need to go. And I picked up, well, you can see in the bag here, lots of bottles, lots of alk, Powerade, soda, plastic bags, and of course what we got originally. A little bit dirty up here. Pretty much cleaned up the whole area. Rotten assholes must hate their woods to do this stuff. truck but i mean hey it's just grass at this point i repair them up with some bed sheets that i cut up that originally i was going to use as tissue paper and then i thought this is actually going to work a lot better do a full tutorial with our oil jeans right here my second pair actually set them up somehow move this over. found that drink in the middle of the woods actually the inner part of it right there move that out like that so as i explained earlier a bald eagle or something got a pair of scissors it got slack 100 cotton thread with a needle cut up tissues which were actually bed cloth three e cut and sold them on to here here. See how that's gonna stick on there. Now using these as reference, cut to about right here on the jeans. Using my rusty pair of scissors right here. Realistically, I haven't probably been back here five years. This is what we come back to do. Besides the does all the drifting with the truck, but the wind would hit so all right, I'm, I'm flipping. I'm flip. I'm flipping these around. Using these jeans as reference, cut where cloth will now be filled in. Right about here. Now what you ought to do now is tuck the bottoms in like this so you don't get all those ticks and whatnot inside of there. So I'm going to tuck them in like that and then I'm going to sew it in. I'm also going to tuck the edges all the way up on these. See that? And as that is tucked in, I'm also going to sew it to the edge of this right here. So that's what this thread and the needle is for. And it should be an easy process right here. It should Guys, let me tell you something. Instead of buying it online, because these jeans mean something to me, I've had these for a lot of a long time it's almost as long as these jeans here and it's just something about an old pair of jeans that you just can't get rid of and then in about 100 years i'll sell these for 500 bucks as the sun goes down every time we're out here it really makes me wonder when oh what's going on here there we go that's the mm, hey sorry i just want to keep exploring these places showing you guys what i grew up with these places that i've taken this same exact truck to just in a very different form and it was all chromed out chromed out like the 90s let's get down to this process grab a piece of thread about yang length it's like the needle in the haystack pretty much almost impossible to get this thing through here sometimes yeah cut the edge off to make it sharper you want to tie the two threads together fold this back hide it i'm gonna put it through here there we go just keep on going down gonna have to get this covered like a million dang times <laughs> who invented this anyway to end the thread if it's too short now just make a loop tie it on down like that rusty scissors cut it you can either line this again which i will to make sure that's really snug and then start lining all the way around here welcome to the center it's time when psychedelic glam and heavy metal rock blasted from mega speakers at fairgrounds, stadiums, and garages. I don't know if you can see it, but I also picked up this swamp chair down by the creek. It was about to fall into the river, but I got it before it got out into the water. Our washer here out here in about 15 degrees. So we had to spend the night. I didn't finish. So we're going to have to finish this job here today. Someone's rolling around with one of those weed whacker bicycles, put a weed whacker motor on it. That's what they did with that. That's cool. A lot of bugs, a lot of animals out here. And the, the ironing did not work. I tried running it over with the truck let them sit under the tires of the front end of the engine for a long time that's about 
about six thousand pounds on it so there's actually one more solution that i found that's actually going to work Open you gotta crimp the edges of the side of your leg about right here all right bring about two inches to the side and you can either just use a clothespin like that on each side sewing it up right there get fancy with this one through the middle hide the edge then go through boom probably gonna go around these twice yeah freaking oh, yeah and i also found this cool chair back in the woods i figured who's gonna throw something like that away i'll keep that for a hundred years all the fence mechanism right there help myself to a drink cool stuff <laughs> there by two inches to tighten goes up to about 11 inches then you want to double this to measure the opening so about 22 inch opening about 11 on that one 22 cool ah, damn it. fire in the mountain run <laughs> Congratulations. Well, you gotta do these certain steps before you can wear it, and that is if you got these metal rings around the drawstrings, you already got one of them all. You gotta take some pliers and rip them out because there's no better way to do it than rip them out. Wow. And then you want to locate the tag. You can see this is Ultimate Cotton, which is 90% cotton, 10% poly. Good luck finding 100% cotton. Oh, shiest. It's not. Make it look all fine and dandy, what not? We're the only company really making a hoodie that has 90% cotton. All right, we just saw Sam on the other side of the highway with the cone that I gave him. Even back when you had your truck, I would yeehaw that truck way more than you would ever yeehaw here. Yeah, big blizzard 2020. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> A little mud on the tire. Go. What the heck? See ya. Here is the mechanism I resorted to making to get this antenna to stay. Look at this. Wow. Using I got on the antenna there, attached to the top of the mirror. Now natural rope. Someone's dumping again in the woods. whoop de doo nothing new. Clean it up. Can't feel my ears, but hey, keep chugging along. We're gonna get through this somehow, one way or another. What's going on, Rottweiler? Setting our GPM bus on macro economics. As your truck, your truck goes higher, swag also increases this way. Up on this angle, we're, we have a plus plus right here. Plus and plus. The symbol of that. Macroeconomic stroke. Hold on. That's five minutes off your recess, mister. We are Penn State. Check out this with D Max right here, LBZ. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Just like that, we got the jeans all taken care of. Oh yeah! Damn it! I didn't expect this chair's leg to break. I was going to keep this for a very long time. Now it's freaking broken now. Finally got to return to this off road place with you guys after all this time. It's been a long time. It turned out better than I thought. It really brings me back. I was cranking up the AM radio in the truck. What is that, an airplane? Shut up! Hey! As I nudge my head on this metal. I love you. Catch you next time. Men in repair save some money. And that's that was the, the quote on the one patch that I used on a different pair of jeans. Just can't afford anything nowadays because all the money just gets sunk into this truck. And I'm just going to ask one favor from you guys. And that is to leave a like on this video. You won't lose anything, I promise. It'll all gain for you. And I really appreciate it if you could just leave a like. So thank you so much. I got to weed through all these branches, trees. I got to even put my mirrors in because this is one of the skinniest trails and probably the only one that's been down on this trail since the last five years that when I was on this trail. Whoa. 
son. Your mommy. <laughs> My <laughs> goodness. Go and fuck yourself, alright? We are in the middle of the damn ghetto. Rock music playing in this band. Yeah, brother. Yeah. yeah. Party, party. in the tunnels underneath the facility. People haven't been down here since World War. I'm serious about this. This is actually very scary. Travel far. You can see the air is very bad. I just hiked out of the woods back there. Somehow I stumbled upon the middle of the city. Just dang. Just trying to find my way out of the city at this point. I don't know where I'm at. Kind of scared right now. But yeah, I need to get some food and hopefully make my way home because we gotta get to those tires. Starting to grapple onto him, and that accordion got famous on YouTube. Are you eating sandwiches? <laughs> oh, he just found the secret shelter. Open it. Here we go, checking out my Man. potential future build here, an old one. It's got a V8 in it, we're doing some good old burnout squishy brake pills. And then we got an old, old metal shifter, you know what I love that right there. Nice and small. Got some steering wheel controls for being a 90s car. I mean, it's not as old as I want it to be, but for a daily commuter, and really straight pipe build and high horsepower with a V8 in it. I mean, you can't go wrong. Look at how spacious everything pushed over in Ford and Lincoln. They've always done well with ergonomics. You got a nice armrest for this old of a car. You can't, I can't even believe it. The only thing is that I thought it was a convert top, but maybe not. And that is a big problem. So yeah, let's check it out a little bit. Let me, let me know what you think for this future build right here. It's a Continental Intec 32 valve V8. Ah, horsepower in this. Got the roast and all the brand new cars out there. Manufactured in 96. I love trucks way more than cars. Do yourself justice this time. No, but there's a line you gotta draw. You know, I'd rather starve because I can't afford to go and eat this meat because all my money's going to this money pit truck. Like, fuck that, dude. That's not the case. Yeah, but I'm just making an example. You're making extreme examples. Gross. You'd rather have that than that? Yeah. That's a golf horrendous. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, the Bu those Buicks are probably the worst cars I've ever seen in my life. No way. Yeah. Dude, every Buick, at least that style, is old enough that was driving it. Except for you. You need to be more regular, Cab. You need to be more cultural, all right? <laughs> God, bear, family, guns, glory. Oh, I was just shit, sitting in that for months. Dude, you're being grody. Yeah. I'm gonna go clean the salt out of my ass. I'm fishing for 10 minutes. Oh, don't record that. Yeah, liquid beverages now. I, the truck didn't start. What is going on with this on the GMC situation? GMCs during this time are very prone for electrical problems, and I am not above that in this one. I have suffered the consequence. To get down and dirty with it, I have ran into an event that while I'm driving six or seven hours, once I hit about the two or three hour mark, everything electrical in the front end shuts off besides the speedometer. It doesn't come back on for 30 seconds and then everything's back to normal. Luckily, brakes don't go out, the power steering doesn't go out. Scared for my life because I was on the highway and I didn't know if- It's all a result from when you drove through six feet of boiling hot water that polluted out of the Three Mile Island no, plant right no, near our campus true. and it was this the scariest before. of the And I can't believe he almost made me drive through it too and it was just chain of events that turned into- It was pretty fun, but I did blow out 
or not blow out your but, head gasket yeah no I had, to, <laughs> I had to get a new o2 sensor because i went through three and a half feet of water somehow disappeared within a half hour's time <laughs> i thought i was gonna be stuck on the campus i was there all night just wanted to go home and go to sleep i was brain dead at this point <laughs> and this is why ladies and gentlemen you buy a 1952 farm truck with a 7.3 power stroke swapped in Thanks. there you go Moral of the story. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Rev it up, you son of a gun.